this is the Arizona Black Film Showcase. I'm Danielle Williams, and I'm here with director Kofi Oliver, not to be mistaken, but mistaken with coffee at all. Thank you. Thank okay, because, you, you know, yeah. can get a little messed up. Say, hey, coffee. It happens all the time, <laughs> so I'm used to it. Okay, you directed the film Vista View. Exactly. And I'm telling you, I think this film is relatable to a lot of people in a relationship you right. move from one city to another city you can't find work the relationship suffers so many people have gone through that so what made you want to do a movie about it well really it's a slice of life piece okay um, you know it kind of grew out of uh, there's a line between a couple of the characters and i just figured you know who would say this to each other and so from that point it just built out and it's like i figured out you know well like you said it is a universal thing where mm -hmm. people go through um, relationships die because of, you know, the fact that situations change. Exactly. You know, uh, jealousy comes to play. And then the infidelity issue is something that a lot of people relate to mm -hmm. as well. So none of it personally happened to me. I was going to ask you, that, is this a personal no, story no, no, for you or all, something? No, 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 not at all, not at all, no. There are elements, but definitely not, none of the major key points, so... What's the most fun about being an independent filmmaker? Because so many films are shown here and a lot of people don't really know what right. goes on. but an independent film is on a strict budget, strict time restrictions. A lot of time you're using your friends, your family, yeah. your own house in, to right. make a movie, you know. Everything, every resource so, you can get. What is the most fun that you have as a filmmaker doing independent films? Well, I mean, working on this level, you know, you don't have studios, you don't have the pressure of somebody saying, mm -hmm. hey, you know, this is what we want. We want it to go in this direction. Right. So, you know, despite all the constraints of money, time and resources, just being able to, you know, say you know what it's my film I can do what I want with it okay it's a big thing you know that, that really um, benefits you as an you know, indie filmmaker now how many films to date have you done uh, this was actually my first narrative film I've done a lot of you know student films yeah but none with like a you know a huge crew not that this was a huge crew but a, a bigger crew than okay. I'm used to I've done a lot of like one-man shows where I've been um, you know uh, the DP the director, the writer, and everything, just on music videos and stuff like that. Okay. And they're all like no budget stuff. So this was the first time actually having to work with a crew. Okay. And you know it was. That's it, nice. Yeah, you it was. Some people to help you out. People to help you out. People to ask you a million questions. So oh, yeah. you know, it, it really was. It was humbling to the extent that people, you know, to be on a set and have people, you know, wanting to make your film happen mm -hmm. and want to do the best that they could, uh, but also just to walk on and say, wow, you know. I'm the man. There you so go. So I have to, you know, you have to be there and, and, and really have that vision and the okay. direction of the film in mind. Now, how did the uh, viewers here in Phoenix receive your film? Because I'm sure that has to be always lurking in the back of your mind. What we'll, are the we'll see. audience going to say? What's we'll the see. audience going we'll to say? We'll see. Um, it's, it hasn't screened yet. It's going to okay. screen in the next uh, hour or so. Okay. You know, we'll see how the, what, what the reaction has been. But so far, you know, I've, I've screened it in a lot of festivals across the country. And, um, you know, the reaction has been good. Okay. Because it's different. It's um, you know, it has a jazz score. Mm -hmm. It's shot in black and white. So you know, it's a testament to the hard work you put in. There's a pat on your back. Yeah, you I appreciate feel it. Feel yeah. real good, right? Yeah. Of course. You know, just having finished it is is the, an accomplishment. It's an achievement, it's, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know, if, it's you know, just relying on people's mm -hmm. time and you know, I got a lot of um, um, my editorial, uh, my editing was free. Nice. You know, friend. There you, you go. Know, you got to use them resources yeah. when you can, right? I got most of my camera equipment free. Gripping Electric came from Warner Brothers through a program they have. So, you know, yeah. all those things help. But, you know, it, it does make it, you know, a process that takes mm -hmm. a little bit more time than you really expect it to take. Well, but Kofi, it's done. I had a lot of fun talking with you, and you were nervous. You were like, I'm usually behind the camera. I don't know about this interview Thank thing. You, yeah. you did really well. I appreciate it. And I wish you the best of luck. I know oh, your film is going to go that. great. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. His film, Vista View, is going to be seen here at the um, Arizona Black Film Showcase. More to come from the Filmmaker's Lounge. <laughs>